Yep, that's me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name, that's so Rena. You get it corner, I know, but that's just how we are here. Period. Period. Okay, if you're new here, you probably don't know, this is my friend. I'm gonna let her introduce herself, baby. Period. <laughs> so my name is Sahara, aka Kiss Hara, formerly known Ooh, as. Oh, jeez. I just had to take it way back for, <laughs> you know, the day one. Okay. Day one. Um, AKA the Sahara Renee, AKA Mommy B, but really my name is just Sahara. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Yeah. No, no, not really me because y'all have seen me on this yeah. channel before. If you're, no if, if you're not new here, y'all have seen me for a couple years now. Oh, yeah, so yeah. we here. <laughs> yes, this is my girl. We go way back way before back. the cameras. Period. Okay. <laughs> so we are, as y'all seen by the title, we're doing Tipsy Top. We got our crown here and we're going to take an initial uh -huh. shot. Here, this is vanilla. Now she got me outside, inside. Yeah. So first, well, I'm gonna take the shot just to get us, you know, loose, loose, loose. And then we're gonna do like an open starter game, like word association. So okay. I'm gonna say a word and you say the first thing that comes in your okay. mind. And then it's gonna flow into the topics. Okay, so first let's take our shot. And if you're new here, then you know I don't like long intros, so we're just gonna get right into it. And if I could open it, <laughs> right. Uh. Nobody's off limits from any situation ever in life. Like, mm -hmm. just as you was married to somebody, don't mean that they won't like treat you like you was just a baby mama. Just like vice versa, they they can still treat you like you was just a baby daddy. You sure. know, so it's like I'm the mother of his child. Oh, yes. You know, so it's like I try to correct myself, like from because you know we live in the South. That's like a normal thing, baby mama, baby daddy. Yes. Like, that's something that we just normally well, you're say. Not waiting for the child. Yeah, that's just something that we normally say. But um, we can get into the key farm situation. Mm -hmm. The outfit, the usher situation. Yeah, what is it's it? It's the usher. Okay, so the like, usher. let's be clear. It's the usher. Okay, so it's like, I get it. You know, it's the usher. <laughs> However, like with the outfit, I just feel like it's her body. Like, it's her choice. Like, okay, we have to have that here. level of confidence after having a child. I love I love seeing her just so happy and smiling and just 
loving her curves, loving the newfound confidence that she has after having a child. Because I know, like, after I had a mom, I did not feel that way at all. Like, it took me a long time. It took me years to feel that level of confidence. So it's like, looking at her, I'm just like... <laughs> And I'm doing the same. Like, I'm just like, I'm rooting for her because, you know, like, she basically grew up with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Also, so, she didn't have that before the mm -hmm, kids. So yeah, yeah. All that, them curves. And like, I'm just like, girl, where that? You know? So I definitely do feel like he probably was just in his feelings, you know, and decided to post that on Twitter. My take is if y'all live together and you yeah. have her number, it should have never even hit social media. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to me, that was a bitch move right there because. Just call me in the other room. Why are you getting on social media to blast me? That's emb yeah. you're embarrassing me and yourself. But you know, the way I look at it is like, I I would be lying if I ever if I say that I never ever reacted fully based off of mo of emotion and put something on social media. Okay, I've done that multiple times. So it's just like I can't really. I'm not really. I'm not really like a judgy person. You know, like I just try to put myself in their lens. Yes, and it's like. I feel like he definitely reacted off of emotion. I don't know him. I don't know either of them from yeah. the can of paint. But just on the outside looking in, I do know at the end of the day, they're human. They bleed just like us. They wake up, eat, sleep, shit just like mm -hmm. us. So I do feel like he just was probably, you know, in the moment, in his feelings, decided to make that post. It blew up probably a lot more than he thought that it would. He probably did think that he would have people, more people agree with him than what actually happened. Because, mm -hmm. of course, everybody's like, Team Kiki, like, what? Like, that's oh, everybody's because. girl. We, we love him. her. Yeah, we don't you know, know We don't really know him. You know, we don't know anything about him, really. It's probably like a small handful of people who actually know anything about his life. I don't I don't know him. So, um, you know, that's just the way I feel about it. I'm, Do you feel like a man can dictate what you wear? Oh. Mm -mm. Me? No. I haven't been in that situation, though. No. I haven't, like, I haven't been in a relationship with anybody who's like, no, you can't wear that. Like, Correct. Because even in my last relationship, he was like, I like that you want to wear what you wear because mm -hmm. niggas look at you and I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's all me. Mm -hmm. You can look, but yeah. she coming home with me. Right. Like, even if I wasn't out with him, he was just like, whatever. I don't care what you wear. Yeah. And I get that because it's just like, I feel like the more confident you are within yourself, the mm -hmm. more skin that you won't mind showing as well. So it's like certain outfits you are going to wear that you know fully form your shape bring out your shape more because i know like for me as i've like gained weight over these years when it goes to the right places i wear certain things when it's not in the right places i'm a cover up certain, I'm, I'm gonna dress a certain kind of way to fit my shape you know so it's just like i don't know i just feel like when people when women are more comfortable in their skin they do wear more fitted you know revealing clothing and that just is what it is it's just to me it's a level of confidence that's there and I'm just always rude. It don't matter if you big, small, short, tall, baby, wear it. But also you know how you secure your nigga is. Yeah. Like you're not oblivious. Like you know he's gonna trip if you wear this. Yeah. Then you get on stage and he sees you with Usher. Like you knew what it was gonna mm -hmm. be. You you know these girls be acting like this so but you know you're a nigga. Yeah. Like you know what he's gonna do. <laughs> and then when I was like, she was like this. She was like, like oh. she knew. She knew it would set him off. Like, please yeah. stop playing victim. You know, I I know every nigga that I've been with. I know how he would react yeah. if that was me on stage. One hundred percent. If you don't give a fuck, then it's dead. Dead. Every, every relationship yeah. to each his own. Literally. Every relationship to each his own because she don't follow him. Oh, see, I don't even know. See, I be knowing, but I don't really like. I saw him TikTok. <laughs> I mean, he probably deserved it because we don't know. Like, we only know what we see, so we don't know their one-on-one -on -one conversations. We don't, we don't know, know the extent of their relationship. You know? We just so, know that he be following her. Girl, take a shot. They be following her around. Y'all thought y'all thought she was slick. She thought she was slick. I'll give you a half a shot. That's what we did. No, no. Oh, well, yeah, he could talk. <laughs> but you ain't gotta hold back for me, girl. I'll take what you. They look about the same. They look the same. They look about the same. Wait. What now? What are we shotting up to? Oh, we shotting up to mm -hmm. surviving teen marriages. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we we thought we was grown. We had no business doing that. <laughs>
because that was something about me and Zahara. We are conjoined. Yeah, it's almost scary. In the heart artery. Yeah, <laughs> we can go months without speaking. Yeah, we're still sync. But it's we don't so go months without creepy. speaking. Though. No, but we're not going without seeing each other. Yeah, without seeing each other. But if we did, we still would be synced. Mm -hmm. Like, please. Yeah. We, we don't have the type of friendship where we have to talk every day. Yeah. Text every day, FaceTime every day. Like, we might FaceTime every blue moon. Uh, we communicate in general. And, you know, we know what's going on with each other's lives. Mm -hmm. But Plus, you're my close friends. So. Yeah. And, and, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we both be knowing what's going on in each other's lives. We know the real tea yeah. um, in each other's lives. But, um... But yeah, we definitely have a She's just a different kind of friendship. She's my most low maintenance friendship. She's probably the only no. You and I have one other friend that's that way, but mm -hmm. Sahara mostly like she just I could just be on Facetime with her for an hour and she is now caught up. Like I don't need to every single day, girl. This is what happened. And yeah. then this happened and this happened and, mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm like your turn. And she's mm -hmm. like, uh huh. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is exactly how it is. And I'm like, what? Yeah. This happened. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so that, and then we're putting two and two together. Oh, that's why you posted the da 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 But oh, okay, I did notice that you took this down the post, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> facts. I was like, oh, she'll tell me. Uh, big facts, yeah. But it's like, we'll ask each other, like, a whole rundown. What's the, who, how's this person? How's this person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That part, that but I did see you post that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this how yeah, yeah, facts. But on top of that, we also, like, have a, a lot in common. A lot. Like, a lot like to where it just be like random stuff and she like me too random stuff yeah <laughs> me, too. me too yeah like me too like yeah you like that shit i like that shit too no you go like, like justin look is it justin little boy uh -huh. whatever uh -huh. his post and it said it's two idiots and texting each other exactly that's us I love first of all, it's just like, you know, it's what's fucking is done, okay? I like a little word association in here. I'm gonna have to keep doing it. Yeah, but let's get it. Yeah, I don't Kiki and her man, more power to you. I hope yeah, you all like yeah. this. We hope the best for y'all if it's meant to be. If it's in God's will for you all to, you know, figure out, then it'll happen. All relationships are worth, honey. No relationship is perfect. <sighs> no relationship is perfect. You know? That's just the way I see it. People change, people grow, people grow together, people grow apart. <laughs> <laughs> the way she looked at me like, what are you about to say? <laughs> people grow together, people say? grow apart, it's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, but we're sprinkling some positivity your way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. how do you feel about co-parenting? Since we're on Kiki, we just gonna segue. <sighs> we're gonna segue. Uh -huh. Do you feel like niggas always can fuck their baby mamas? Most of the time, yeah. I also agree. Yeah, most of the time. Especially if time. that's... If that's his only child, and he's only had that experience. Nine out of ten times, they were both spin the block. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Are you taking another shot? Yeah. How <laughs> many shots did you take? Oh, I'm gonna, you know, she's keeping yeah. here. Yeah. We here. Might, we might as well see it through. Yeah. But um, yeah. So um. What was the question? Yes. Do you think niggas always will fuck their baby moms? Do you think oh. Always spin the block. Always. E pretty much, I would say like 80% of the time. And the only the other 20 is just like, we've just outgrown each other now. I have the ick when it comes to you. Now, I, I'm not speaking specifically about me in right general. now. But in general, um, the only way that uh, the situation would be off limits is if he is totally in love and, and moved on. Or if she is totally in love or moved on or has, mm. has leveled up. Mm. If she has leveled up, mm, then nine, nine out of ten times, it's like, now I'm with a guy who's way more mature, got more money than you, is putting me on, is more mature than you overall, like, handles this, handles that. Like, you know, and it's not just all about that. It's not all about the money or the looks, but it's like, you have you add some sort of substance to my life that makes me feel like I don't even want to circle back to that because now yeah. I've outgrown that. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, that's what it is. Or you pushing me to the point where I really just hate you now. Yeah, because I don't have a kid. Right. But I have fucked with niggas who do have kids, mm -hmm. and them and they like the baby mama and him are together. But he's spinning the block on me, the ex that doesn't have a kid with him. You know because. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there's some kind of comfortability there, mm -hmm. but also you're not happy there, but mm -hmm. you're trying mm -hmm. to, you're trying to play the father role and your child is accessible to mm -hmm. you. So you're keeping baby mama happy over here, mm -hmm. but you really want to be here, mm -hmm. you know? And to me, 
because but child that situation is so dangerous dramatic. as well. Yes, yeah, it is. both situations are dangerous. Mm -hmm. But because childbirth to me is like such a holistic kind of like wow, I'm about to die having your kid. Because you. yeah, that's the closest to death that any yes. woman can. Yeah, it's like y'all connect on a different level that I can't compare to mm -hmm. as the ex that mm -hmm. doesn't have the kids. So it's like yeah, you're butter Mia, but at the end of the day, y'all share that moment. Mm -hmm. And it's like that kind of chomps every like you could be telling me the best thing ever, but in my head I'm like I did not share that experience with you. You know, you looked her in her eyes as she gave birth to your child. Yeah. Like, you know, like it's not like y'all were on bad terms and she just had a kid. And yeah. Yeah. Like, you were there. That connection is is very different, and I can speak on that from experience as well because it's just like, oh man. So that's why I feel like niggas go to yeah. the baby mama because mm -hmm. y'all connect in that way. Yeah, especially like when the man was there when the baby came out. Correct. Whether you had a vaginal birth or a well, C-section. Even if you had like, a C-section, it's almost worse. Yeah, like both it's are traumatic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Both are traumatic. Like, I have a cousin who she had a C-section and I had a vaginal birth. But all of our symptoms was the same. Mm -hmm. Like, both couldn't walk after we had a baby. Both healed the same. Both have scars. Both, like, we... We healed very similar for us to have way different births. Mm -hmm. um, so I just be feeling like, because a lot of people like to compare, like, oh, well, this is worse. And better with the, yeah, don't none of that matter. Yeah. And, and you had the baby. So, some women can just push the baby right out and don't have no symptoms. Some women prefer C sections. Mm -hmm. Some women just like to get it over with him and can walk the next day out and nothing ever happened. Like, that's another thing. We got to break that stigma. <laughs> And comparing, because I see that a little bit too much. Like, especially after I had a nine, I'm like, why are we arguing over which is worse? Who cares? The they're baby both, is here. And they're both like All that matters is that you have a healthy baby, even if you don't. Hey, working toward health, full blown health, 100% of nursing that baby to health. That's all that matters. Like, well, let's let go of the comparing, this and that. None of that matters. All that matters is that you have a healthy baby. Like, next subject. Period. You know, very opinionated. That, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> that is what I'm saying though. Like, yeah. As just the girl, you like the girl mm -hmm. that doesn't have a kid. Mm -hmm. Like you're dating a nigga that has kids. Right. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. you. There's nothing you can say. Right. You can never say fuck that bitch. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, she gave birth to your nigga's right. child. Mm -hmm. Like right. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. So now, I can't date nobody with kids. But I can understand <laughs> why you say that. Yeah. I can understand that because it's like. Like, I'm to the point now, like, okay, I'm single right now. Relationship status. I'm in a town. Okay, I got right here. Right. We're playing the other So, that part. So, um. Yeah, we just from zero to ten. Okay, but, um. Sorry. So, like, I'm really to the point now. Where I almost don't even know if I want to date men who don't have kids. Because you have a kid. But that, but it's, it's like, it's very deep past that. Because it's like, you don't even understand why I love and go out of my way for this little person the way that I do. You might, yeah. can try to comprehend it the best way that you can. If but I'm not saying that it's completely kids. off limits. I'm not saying that it's completely off limits. But just from what I've seen and from what I've also experienced, it's like, it's a sort of, Maturity level? It's a sort of jealousy that's present. Ooh. It, it really truly is. Off of the kid. Because it's like you're giving all this attention and love and you're kissing on this baby. And you know, it's like I'm living my normal life. I'm just doing what I normally would do yeah. in general. You. I'm as doing well as a mom. Oh, I'm like, the nigga is no, like, a bachelor. So, like, so, so, no. Okay, so it's like, okay, like, let's say if, you know, the person that you're dating is like around you and you're, and you're something like, Excuse me, not every situation is like this. Some mm -hmm. women do meet men and the man is just like all full force into stepdaddy mode. More mm -hmm. power to you. Congratulations. Rare. Okay? Mm -hmm. Super rare. Alright? Super rare. 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 Okay, so but yeah. then I have like talked to my other like, you know, mom friends who are like no longer with their son's father mm -hmm. and you know have like tried to date men that don't have kids and it's like it's a certain it's like you can't meet each other in the middle. It's like a certain understanding that they just don't have. But not, and not every situation is it like that. Like sometimes they can just go straight into daddy mode, learn, grow an attachment to the child, and they don't even think about that. But for some men, it's like, dang, I could really, I would really rather start from scratch with another woman who doesn't have kids. 
I would really rather start from scratch. Yeah. You know, because like you already have your pre-started family. Even though it doesn't work out, even though it didn't work out, mm -hmm. you know, they have a preference in the back of their head. Like, damn, I really don't have to deal with this. Like, I could just find a, you know, woman. This is just me being realistic with myself. It don't matter how, it don't matter, none of that matters how much fun you have with a man, if you put it down, no matter if you take care of, it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I just feel like some men in the back of their heads, that's what I know for a fact, in the back of their heads, they're like, I really don't have to deal with this. I'm just choosing to deal with this. I mean, everybody has choices. God gave us free will. Yeah. Okay? So, we all have choices. And some people, you know, are into that. Some people are not. So, it's just the way I look at it. Like, some mm -hmm. guys do look at it like, okay, I really don't even have to deal with this. Like, I, I'm going to just try to, you know, find another single woman. Go I start from scratch. I ain't got to worry about no baby daddy drama. Yeah. I ain't got to worry about this first and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, know, you I mean, because... And I understand that. But then again, it's like, dang, we can't, like, control the fact that it didn't work out. People change all the time. People wake that. up and have different feelings every day. And then <laughs> people our age have kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People our age are on their third. I am, like, it is rare mm -hmm. that I find, me single with mm -hmm. no kids, that I find somebody my age that has no kids right. and has everything for us. Right. It is so rare, which I hate. And I'm like, should I just stop looking in Atlanta? Yeah. But, like... Yeah, I it's, can understand what it's you're saying. Crippling. You know, it's like, am I, is my standards like no kids and then I just lost a third of my opportunity or like what? I can understand that. That's me. I'm like, yeah. if, should I just stop saying that? Mm -hmm. But then it's like, mm, no, I really don't want to deal with that. We are at the age where people it's have gonna be rare. Yeah. Even if it's not an ex relationship, they got a baby mama. Somewhere. Probably had a baby and it was just a sneaky link. Now they got two, three kids. Yeah. So. And now I'm gonna cut my blessing off because I'm being strict with my what I won't do, what I will mm -hmm, like, girl. Mm -hmm. And I understand then, like, that it happens where I will. But see, we, but we like, feel the same way, yeah. but just opposite. Like how I don't want to completely count out men that don't have kids. You don't want to completely count out men who have who do. Yeah, it depends. It just depends on the situation and the kind of nigga and how much time. Mm -hmm. I require a lot of time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I want to be in your skin. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I want realize. you to handle your business first. But, yes. I, but I did not skin. realize I need a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, I, we, and we are getting older. I yeah. never realized it until now that, I'm, now that I'm single, I realize it. But when I was in my last relationship, I did not realize it because the relationship before then, it was like, okay, he goes to work, I go to work, and then, mm -hmm. you know, when we have free time, we link up yeah, together, right, right, whatever. Right, right. Yeah. And then my last relationship, it was like, you going out with your niggas? Why you ain't going out with me? Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize I was doing it until now that I'm single. I'm like, damn. Right. Y'all going to enjoy this part? Like, I, I need that. attention. Yeah. Especially when you ain't got no kid. What the yeah. hell are you doing? Yeah. Especially when you have a kid. Hell. You, don't, you don't have that, like, that healthy distraction that's right there every day. Correct. I feel you because it's like with Nami, whew, baby. He requires a lot of my attention. But at the same time, I do make time for what I want to make time for. So. And that's it. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. a nigga will make time. I'm gonna make time if I'm gonna make yeah. And a man will make, make time. Sense. What, what about spending my time on? Okay. I mean, I, uh, I had a nigga yeah. pull up with his baby. Do the baby want me now? No. It'd be like that. But hey, he want to make time for me, so. so over here. <laughs> hey. Shit. Teach his own. <laughs> Good with kids, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. Let's take a shot for that. I'm already hot. Ooh, it's I'm bad. hot too. Oh, I turned it on. Mm. We're going to have to turn some AC up or something because I am hot. Mm. Before I take this next shot, baby. The fan on and the AC Yeah. On. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> when we, like, when we first, you know, got together, it felt a little more manageable. But now we drank it. Let me all in your phone set. Who texted us? No all right, so I got to catch up. This should not dry. I'm just trying to put it on somewhere like Doja Cat, you feel me? Put it on to make me want to marry me. I'm putting it on to make me want to marry me. I feel like she's talking to the nigga I used to talk to, so I keep watching her story like, is this his car? Possibly. Scripture. When you feel it on your gut, not that 10 times is that's Yeah, I'll figure it out. Don't even worry about it. I'm on that ass. So bad. How do you feel about... <laughs> What you about to ask me? How do you feel about 
um, Offset and Cardi B. I feel like, I feel like they be having some wild, crazy sex. I, I think so too, because he be going crazy just randomly through mm -hmm. the week and then like he's with her at an event mm -hmm. yeah, by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Cardi B, you can She's definitely tell. Well, first of all, we we all know Cardi B is freaked out, okay? When I think of them, I think sex symbol, but also, I mean, it's it's the Cardi B. Like, she really is, she's a living legend, especially for our generation. You mm -hmm. know, she says what it is. But she so it's also that. He's a part of the Amigos. The Amigos, they've been around, we've been listening to them for, since like what? Long. I think very social. Like, yeah, like middle school, especially because we're from the A, so. Mm -hmm. We have been listening to them since Stroud Out of the Bando, you know, so even but before that. Be a freak, no. Yeah, you know, even <laughs> before, yeah, like we've been listening Fight to them night. since Spin Brother. Fight Night. You know, <laughs> yeah, like we've been listening to them for a long time, so um, their relationship, I like it. I mean, we don't know what happens on, you know, behind closed doors, yeah. but just from what I see, I like what I see, as long as y'all continue to, you know, I guess, click out first. Then. Cause she's no, he be accusing her of cheating, and she be like, "Please, yeah, that's like, that crazy shit." We all young. They're like, oh, they're all right. yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, people, people forget that. People forget that. that. People people forget that. that. Said, what? I said I'm the same age as right. Like, like he said no. I said yeah. Mm -hmm. I said I couldn't have two kids. Mm -hmm. That's what like sometimes when I be seeing like the little clips of her interviews and stuff, I'm like, this is something I would say. Yeah. Girls like all the time, like. Like when my friends be like watching her interviews, they be sending them to me like, "Bitch, just something you would something do. Bitch, just something you would say." Like, for because example, I feel like there is Libra in you somewhere. But because I have them around me every day of my life, I can't get away from them. Okay, like release me from the shackles, like right? no, just playing. She even um, birthed a Libra. Yeah, I, my son is a Libra. Like for real, it, it just works. It, it just works. works. My mom is a Libra. My mom's like, like it's. They're everywhere. I just seem to attract Libra, Libras, you know, overall. So it's like, it is what it is. I just understand y'all. I understand y'all. It's a balance. Yeah. Really? It's, yeah, it's a balance. <laughs> and I'm a Sagittarius. Yes. People and usually we get along, like, yeah. So well, yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. We do. But the crazy thing is, like, people usually tell me, like, oh, like, you're a real nice Sagittarius. Yeah, yeah. But I think what it is, is, like, I've mastered the art of, like, wording things a certain kind of way. That's all it is. That's all it is. I, just feel I feel like, like I'm pretty good with my words. Femininity. Yeah, that too. Thank you. So thank you. Because Sagittarius are more like hardcore. They would hard but, but, you, but you get why I say like I've mastered my delivery. That's all it is. Because mm -hmm. it's like I say what comes to my mind, just like any other Sag. But right, she says it with a I try to say. She has her hand on you. Look, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Let's accept it. And that's all right. <laughs> That's no, all right. Right. I still love you for who you are. I'm not that's judging you. you. Right. Let's right. go meditate. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> For real, for real. And I'm like, okay. Right. She's like, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. I can see where you're coming from. Facts. As yeah. a waiter, I can always see where you're coming from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all are yeah. super understanding. My dog. That's another part. story from the other day. I might get another tattoo, right? A trench stand to say, mate. Made with love. That's what you gonna do for real? <laughs> now y'all see what I mean? That's that shit me. That's that shit me. It's like, you sure about that? You gonna do that for real? Let me show you it. It's so cute. I have a screenshot in my phone. Yeah, show me. Oh, it's cute. I thought I favored it. Fuck. I'm gonna have to do that. That's what you gonna do for real? Yeah, so then. That's what you gonna do? That's what you gonna do? Look at this nigga. How you feel? Yes? Mm hmm That's what sex means. That's, that's not saved. Mm. Mm hmm <laughs> Something's wrong with us. But she, she knew exactly what I meant. When I said, mm hmm oh. It's cute, ain't it? Okay. Oh, now she approved. I, I see where she going with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cute. That's a very Serena-like tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see what she was doing. Let's go okay. take a shot. Oh, ready. Oops. Mm -hmm. now she I said it's going down a little bit. The paper is still blowing. Is it the AC or the fan? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Both of them. Me 
and Serena us. always say like we have very like similar humor. Yeah, it's 100%. dark. It's yeah, hundred percent. It's like dry humor. Like we're yeah. both like super straightforward, but it's <laughs> in like a I don't know. So how you came in? I said brown or tequila because you gotta drive home. She said. Honestly, both. <laughs> I'm like either one. Cause she was like, well, the driving wine. No. This one. I'm like, either one. She's like, me too. I'm like, just something else we have in common for no reason. For no reason. Like, it don't matter. Like, I'm gonna be lit on the dark, I'm gonna be lit on the light. Like, we're still sisters. Yeah, we are. Whatever. Remember the first time I talked to her? I was like, fuck you, bitch. But the worst she can do is look at me crazy. That was in our uh, elective class downstairs. Uh -huh. The what? lady. What class of the lady? What were we even in there for? Um, business. business. Mm -hmm. that, that. Was that our only class together? Yeah. It was. That class it was, was turned. It was 11th grade. That class is turned. Yeah. It, it, it was. That was an interesting selection of people. It was. That was a mixture of like. It was. Hood niggas, nerds, popular girls. By the end of class, everybody knew both of us, so mm -hmm. whatever. Yo, what's the answer to mm -hmm. it? was <coughs> for A. Right, I was like, slide that paper up here. Yeah. I'm just. We didn't have social together? I feel like we had everybody something. Everybody was in there. Upstairs, <laughs> by the stairs. So who? Well, in my class, it was Laurel, Kyrie, um, Montre. Social studies. Yeah, with that white teacher. He was like, in the military time. Mr. Harold? That's his name? No, Harold was the dark skin that was a barber. As White well. guy tall. Sounded yes. tall, very like monotone. Yes. Um, Mr. Kitchens. No, he was science. Oh. And I didn't have that class with you because I had it with Ashley and Eli and they weren't together. At that time. No, they were just best friends. Okay. Yeah. That's how it always starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it starts as best friends, boy, I tell you. <laughs> but they are in but they are going Exactly. The male sages, please steer away. Yeah. Please. But I can understand because we have those certain characteristics too, but we just use our powers for good. <laughs> we don't want to use our powers for bad because what do we gain from it? Most Sagittarius women are like that. Now I could be outside like like that, like that. I could be a liar. But why lie to y'all? Why the, let the best I, man win? No, that, that's no, that's what I told my last <laughs> situation. He said, Yeah, I talked to hella girls, and I he said, If you don't want to talk to me after that, then I understand. He was a Pisces, they're very emotional, <sighs> mm -hmm. but I've only dealt with female Pisces because my sister is right, a Pisces. my sister is too. Yeah, so I never like, dealt with she's a emotional, Pisces. but she's also like, She don't play, same with Shaylin. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Oh, I, I can't handle a Pisces, but I'm emotional, emotional too. But I don't. But know. an emotional man is different. Yeah, I agree. Like yeah. so, he's telling me, yeah, I talked to other girls. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I don't talk to nobody else. Let the best woman win, cause I know it's gonna be me. That's me. As a least, like, please, I'm here. I like the competition. Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah, I know you. You're not. Mm -hmm. well, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I said we ain't exclusive. Shit, let the best woman win. He said, oh, I like that energy. I know you fucking do. Right. What the hell is you saying? What do you mean? This is gonna get How are you supposed to feel? I like feeling.
Of the damn camera. We're back, guys. That was a long intermission. A little bit. Y'all know. Probably 30 minutes. We were talking about all type of shit in between. So, what do you think your type is? I'm just a single, folks. My type. <laughs> Mwahaha. No. Um, my type, I feel, oh. Oh, you took yours? I guess. I missed it? I guess. Did I gotta catch up? When? What were we talking? I don't even remember Let's when the last time I recorded drive. was. Um. <laughs> so my type. I want a person who is thoughtful. Meaning what? Like, I feel like there's a lot of selfish people out here that be faking like they care, like they give a fuck. You did contour? Hmm? You did contour mm -hmm. before you came? It looked mm -hmm. good. You need to talk back to see. Thank you. Ew, I try, I'm trying to. Is that without my glasses okay. on? Thank you, bro. Ooh. That means it's really mm -hmm. sweet. <laughs> right. I'm just about to say Boy, it. Shit. My baby can't see. Without <laughs> <laughs> the glasses. Um. So yeah, I think like, I just want a man that's actually like really thoughtful. A man that I don't have to tell, I mean, I don't expect for my man to be a mind reader, but at the same time, like you should know all for real what a woman deserves, like what a woman needs, what a woman wants. Like, I don't want to have to raise you and have to mold you. So do you feel like that comes with how he is raised? Mm -hmm. Like 100%. I agree. Because it's like for me, I, I don't expect for them to already come 100% ready. Like, relationships, marriages are work. I do believe you're going to do some type of molding in how you want your person to be regardless. But as far as the basics, mm -hmm. I need you to already know, like, flowers. That is a, that comes off rip for me. Every nigga knows they girl want flowers. You know I want flowers. Like, my past relationships, like, the men that I've dated over the past couple years, um, they both got me flowers. Same. Like every week. Do you feel like any flowers you'll accept? Mm -hmm. Or do you feel like he should know what kind of flowers you like? If I have, if I make a little comment, like, oh, this flower. Because it's a certain type of flower. I can't think of the name of it. But it's a certain type of flower that like bleeds. Like when it starts to fall, mm. it stains the counters. Mm. Um, and I feel like that flower is like in danger every bouquet. Like in a lot of bouquets. Unless it's like, a, unless it's just all roses. This flower is like in danger every bouquet. So like I did find myself kind of saying, Oh, this flower did stay in the counter real bad. Then they take a mental note, like, okay, let me not get that flower no more. Um, but I want flowers. Like, I expect for my doors to be opened. I expect chivalry. Ooh, I started getting mm -hmm. that, and I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. this is... But I expect that all for real. I but mean, look, look, me, I was like, why have I not been asking mm -hmm. this before? Right. Because when I was introduced, you, I was you like, don't know. What? Yeah, you don't know until you know. But for me, I was... My sister can tell you. I have been getting spoiled since I was in high school, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, my high school sweetheart, we kind of, his mom was real old school, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, me and his mom was, like, real close. Not not trying to, you know, bring up old stuff, but this is just my truth. Like, he, his mom was real old school. He was raised real old school. And so, off rip, I was already being real wifey-like as a child. He, he was already courted. being real. Yeah, I was being courted 100%. So, I was already expecting those things, like, my meals paid for. He would give me money anytime I wanted. Buy me whatever I wanted. He would get for me in high school. Mm -hmm. I want this phone. He would give me the phone. I want this outfit. He would take me shopping. I want to go here. I want, you know, we would do those things. And it's not like I would be nasty. But I like, eh, eh, eh. I, I wasn't bratty about it. It's just he would do it for me. But I was also doing things for him. Yeah. You know, like when his birthday came around or whatever, I would go above and beyond gifts, whatever, make him feel special. So, I was already doing those things, and my mom raised me to be a wife. Yeah. You know, so it's like, we kind of had that mutual understanding. So, like, growing up and coming into dating and then getting married so young after, you know, my apple sweetheart situation, growing up, getting married, I was already dealing with somebody who, you know, he was a gentleman at that time, 100%. Like, opening my door, giving me whatever I wanted. I didn't have to worry about those things. So, any relationship I've been in, I have been spoiled. So that's all I really know. So it's just once things change, then eventually you start to realize, okay, did this person put on a certain type of personality to court me in? Mm -hmm. And that's the scary part about mm -hmm. it because it's like, now I'm going to approach relationships differently. 
Because, like, I don't want to talk about all, all what I'm used to. No, what do you feel like I deserve? Yes. Okay. Like, when you get to talking about what you will accept from your last situation, a nigga will do you the same way. And I just learned that. I'm learning Now too. I'm like, I don't know. I'm oblivious. What, I, I have to be what, what oblivious. What do you have to offer? Because like, it's like... I'm not gonna tell you what I said. I don't before. want. I don't want you to act like you're a certain type of way just to court me in, and then two months later we arguing about something that you told you're me. Like, that I was you doing it this way anyway. I was just doing it for you. Don't tell yeah, me. Yeah, like I got multiple experiences that just went through my brain within them ten, them ten seconds. Cause you niggas, niggas, I'll be capping. I ain't saying these females don't be capping. I, I I love you, black men. Okay, but we gotta do better as a whole. <laughs> Okay, love y'all to, to the core. Okay, core. like women love y'all to, to, to the core. But the butt is a big butt. <laughs> Lay it together. Stop the capping, stop the lying, stop doing what you gotta do just to get into the vagina. And then all of a sudden, you got a hold on. The vagina got a hold on you. Yeah. And you don't wanna let that go, but then you don't wanna do the work. You don't wanna do the real work. Oh, I actually gotta hold myself accountable. We're not just having sex, we're not just going on all this. Oh, dang. Don't come my way. Just stay away from me. For sure. Just stay away from me. Because I have so many other things that I could be worried about right now than to be worried about something that is just not even real. What's the point? And, and say, the same for y'all, too. niggas will do mind games on you. Y'all like to play mind games. And, mm -mm. Just Look, say you, you got the right just, one. Just say you okay? just wanted to fuck. But you got the right one. Because if, if you want to go there, we can go there. Like That's my thing. Like I'm just tired of... I don't want to waste no time. I don't want to waste no more time. Like, but I feel like any situation that I've been in throughout my life, like it made me who I am today. So I can't say I'm regretful, cause I'm learning through experience, and I'm also learning from my friends and family, and you know, listening to everybody else's stories, not judging them, understanding that anything can happen to anybody. You not know, off limits just because. Cause he's like, oh yeah, Beyonce man. got cheated on. She's the Beyonce. Beyonce. The with a white woman. I'm gonna have to get up on that one. What? She got up? Cause why would you cheat on the B? With a white woman. The B? With a white woman. <sighs> Becky. With the good hair. I'm mad. What? She turned around! <laughs> why, why would you play mother like that? Beyonce. The Beyonce. Like, why? Why would y'all, why would you even play word like that? It's the B. Anywho. Hmm. Shout on that. Shout on that, cause stop playing. Stop playing with mother. And I'm coming to your concert in August, <gasps> girl. Come on. I could. I still got time to decide if I'm going. <laughs> I'm being nosebleeds, but you ain't got that much time, girl. Them nosebleeds gonna sell out. Once we get close to that time, for sure. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of concerts. And it's like one something. You should do it just for the experience. Why not? Why not, girl? I feel like it's gonna be her life. Lit. I have a feeling too. But throw it on Netflix. I'll watch it like I did Homecoming. Mm -hmm, it's not the same. Buy the ticket, Serena. I'm watching. You're it. at. You don't hesitate buying tickets for two. Buy the ticket because you love you some for two. Seeing right away. Yeah, I know that, but it's just I love them. I know. But I bought the ticket. About my little camera keep going off. Who here? I bought the meet and greet for two. I oh, was just the cars. Mm -hmm. It was $200. I know. I saw you screenshot. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. My picture. Epic. I got I think, a I think custom, I'm get to the Erica Badu concert. I got so. a custom two seat corset I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to make him pick me up mm -hmm. in the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going viral. Got to do it all the way. I'm going viral. I don't blame you, girl. If I would have known about them, Chris, if I would have known Chris Brown was coming here, I ain't know nothing about that concert for <laughs> You know, he had the fan, take pictures with the fans. He was like, oh, that was too much. He was doing You have a picture with Chris Brown. Please, I'm going to frame my regardless picture. Regardless if you're an industry girl or not. Regardless, I was raised in the industry. It's still the Chris Brown. He's still a legend. He's still a legend. You're going to be able to show your kids, I got a picture with Chris Brown. Because my son said. is four and he loves Chris Brown. He, he's constantly playing the Chris Brown videos. Now he takes his shirt off while he's dancing and stuff. He's going to be a dance like no, but Sahara, period. if Rod Wade has a meet and greet, I will empty my bank account. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much it was. Mm -hmm. for if you feel connected like, to that artist. For Tuesday, I was like, mm -hmm. 200? Because mm -hmm. last year he sold 
200, no, he sold 100 tickets mm -hmm. for 100 each. Mm -hmm. But this year he did 50 tickets, 200 each. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, 50 tickets. It's like mm -hmm. now or never. You're mm -hmm. either getting mm -hmm. it today or you're dying. Mm -hmm. That's what I was like. So but I know you like him. You can repost him and stuff. So I, I like love mm -hmm. to see. Mm -hmm. And Rob Wick. Mm -hmm. But they went on concert together mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. Him, Mariah, the scientist, and... Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I went to it. And I, I went to I watched their concert. You made a YouTube about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I could have been in it. Yeah, I've been watching. I've been, been watching. Her. Do y'all support y'all friends? Are y'all real viewers? Do y'all yeah. know the intro? Why is she so close? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Serena. <laughs> Do y'all know that? Do y'all know y'all's friends like it? Like, come on. What the hell? Do better support your friends. I'm not playing. Because y'all be quick to support strangers y'all don't know from a can of paint. They don't know you. They don't know you exist. Support your friends. Stop playing on your friends' top. Treat yes. your friends like they like they celebrities. <laughs> this Home. This escalated fast. I said what I said. I'm not playing. Cause I'm that type of friend. I show up for everything with my friends. For sure, me too. Y'all, that's what we have in common, 100. percent For sure. Po repost your friends stuff, cause y'all about to piss me off. Yeah, I said what I said. <laughs> for the next shot. Out. For the next shot. Cause y'all should be better right? friends. How long is this video? An hour and three minutes. Oh, yeah, you have to cut it. Like it was an event. <laughs> it is at this point. Longest tipsy talk episode to date. Oh, I have a swallow left. So look okay. forward to yeah. real podcast episodes between me and Serena. <laughs> That's because it. it's overdue, and she love to talk. I love to talk. I love what she be talking about. She love what I be talking about. Because I really feel like you and me, you and I both share a similar testimony mm -hmm. and I feel like a lot of people don't speak on what they've been through you know? yeah but because y'all do a lot of capping y'all gonna make me rant again because now go. the liquor I got in my system here we go I'm tired of y'all getting on social media you acting like y'all have this prissy prancy personality you see them on fingers be yourself don't y'all ever get tired of faking like you're somebody that you're not I used to be that person we used to be that person to a certain extent. She always, she been a little more lit than me. I mean, but it was younger when I broke out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like for me, I'm tired of like, like it's exhausting. Don't y'all ever get exhausted? Oh, I, I don't want this person looking at me. So what? Don't you want to get on social media and, and see authenticity? Isn't that the reason why y'all follow some of the celebrities that y'all follow? Because they don't care and they want to be, get online and show who they really truly are. Don't y'all get exhausted seeing the same people, same personalities. They don't have their own freaking personalities. Y'all got your own personalities, but we'll never know because y'all never show it. Bitch, I'm over them days, ho. Y'all gonna see who I am. Well, y'all are seeing. Treat your main story like it's your close friends, ho. No, for real. Because I'm, I'm working on that. Slowly but surely. No, my close friends is where I'm freaky at, so. Yeah, fact. Yeah. You knew me for a close friend. I'm like, period. I'm freaky as fuck in my close friends. Sure. She be posting stuff. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, y'all mm -hmm. didn't know I was on that shit, bro. But I did. Yeah. We so like the same know. stuff. <laughs> Not the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I look like right now. I'm like, that But how you are giving Ariel, because look at the red hair. Right? In the blue. In the blue? It'll be on the screen as we talk. We're gonna wrap it up here because Sahara and I, we can go all night. Yeah, that's the problem because y'all might just click through this, but just know. I'll put timestamps. 
topic by topic. Yeah, that because, that's a good idea. Yeah, because at this point, we will. We, we love to talk in general. Night. That's she, the problem. We, she was here but three that's hours why. before we even started recording. We were talking, so it was like. But that's why we have to have other episodes. Yes. Because I'm starting a podcast. Well, I've already started shooting my content for my podcast. Good. So I'm going to have Serena on there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be on Serena. Right. And we're we're going to have... Mm -mm. No, because at this point, we need to have whole... Bitch, I got it all in my head. <laughs> well, you do that. Now, I just my calendar like I did this. Because mm -hmm. guess what? We done started something. Because it was bad. overdue anyway. It's bad. <laughs> all right, Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, show some love. We'll see y'all next